Hello friends, today we are going to see how to merge two sorted linked lists to form a new sorted linked list. So let's see here. These are the two sorted linked lists and we are going to merge these two linked lists to form this sorted linked list. So you can see the data here 10, 50, 70, 90, 100 and 20, 30, 40, 60, 80 and they merge to form this linked list 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. So obviously the our answer is a sorted linked list. So now let's see how to do this. So uh, P is pointing to the head of the first linked list and Q is pointing to the head of the second linked list. And there is one more pointer. The name of the pointer is S and this is this can be called as the sorting pointer. So the pointer S will initially point to the node which has lesser value. So here P is pointing to 10 and Q is pointing to 20. So obviously 10 is less than 20 which is why S will initially point to 10 in the first linked list. If Q was less than P then it would have pointed to Q. But now as P is less than Q, S is pointing to the first node in the first link list. Now let's go ahead. The next step is P will always point to the next node of S. So P is pointing to the next node of S now. And here the comparison begins. So we have to compare P with Q and whatever is less S will point to that node and our new linked list will form. So see P is 50 and Q is 20. What is less? 20 is lesser. So now S will point to 20 and this link will be deleted and this link will point to 20 and which is why S is pointing to 20 now. Now as per the rule, the pointer Q will point to the next node of S always. See, the pointers P and Q after one comparison whenever a link is created the P and Q are set to the next node of S respectively. Now C. So now let's compare P and Q again. So what is lesser? 30 is less. So this is a, already there is a link. There is no need to form a link but just for understanding I am making this link in the red color so that we can trace the result, resultant linked list uh, afterwards. So as this is lesser, so S will point here now. Now as per the rule Q will point to the next node of S. Check P and Q compare 50, yes 40 is lesser. So again S will point here this link will become red because this is a part of new link list now the sorted link list the merged sorted link list so s is here as per the rule q will point here the next node of s p is compared with q yes 50 is lesser so now this link will point to 50 and S will point to this node. Now S is back in the first linked list. So as per the rule P will point to the next node of S. See P will always trace in this linked list and Q will always trace in this linked list. So let's go now ahead. 70 
and 60. What is lesser? 60 is lesser. So again, S, this link is deleted, S will point to this link list and so this link will point to 60. So S is carrying the sorted link list till the end. Now, as per the rule, Q will point to the next link list. So now, let's compare 70, 80. Yes, 70 is lesser. So, S will point to 70. This link will now go to this link, uh, to, the, uh, to this node. And as per the rule, P will point to the next node of S. Compare 90, 80. Yes, 80 is smaller. So, again this link will be deleted. And it will point to 80 now. And S will is pointing to 80 now. Because 80 is lesser than 90. Now, as per the rule, Q will point to the next node of S. Yes. Now Q points to null. If one of P or Q points to null, then here as Q is pointing to null, we have to directly connect this <coughs> link of S to P. This is the breaking condition. If P was pointing to null, then we would have connected the link of S to Q. But in this case, as Q is pointing to null, we are connecting the link of S to P. And this link list goes till the end. I will make the links as red so we can figure out the sorted link list. So P is pointing to this node, which is not of significance now. So, yes, just check 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and null. So this is how we have merged two already sorted linked lists. Let's see the program now. So this is the code and we are going to execute this code on this example. So here the name of the function is merge and uh, Parameters passed are the heads of two linked lists that is P and Q. So it is passed here P, Q and the head of new linked list that is sorting. Means this is the tracing node of the link, new linked list. Let's go inside. So node star new head equal to null. So the new head means of the sorted linked list is declared. This is the head of the merged sorted linked list. Let's go into the code. If p equal to equal to null, return q. So here, if out of the two linked lists, if p is empty, means if this linked list is not there and p is null, then obviously our answer is q. If p is null, and if q is null, then if q is null, then p is our answer as it is. So here, suppose if uh, q is not present, so this link list is not present and q points to null, then the merged sorted link list will be only p. So this was for example. Now let's go ahead with the code if p and q if both are present if p is also present and q is also present then what to do so as i have told you initially the pointer sorting that is we had called it as the pointer s this is the sorting pointer this will point to the node which has lesser value. So let's check it. If P points data is less than or equal to Q points data. 
then sorting will point to that node because piece data is less sorting will point to that node else sorting will point to q so this is what is followed here in this case 10 is less than 20 so s will point to 10 the first node of the first linked list and obviously that is our new head so 10 is our head of the answer linked list so our answer which starts from 10 and we will go ahead so the next conditions so here is the loop to trace through the uh, through the two linked lists so if p points data is less than or equal to q points data so here as you must remember in this if condition after sorting points to uh, p p points to the next node of sorting so p goes here points to the next node of the sorting variable and then we go to this while loop so if that data p's data is less than q's data so here if 50 is less than 20 which is not the case here so we come in else so in else sorting points next equal to q so the next pointer of sorting so s is sorting pointer will point to q so here will point to q and sorting will point to q now so sorting pointer will go to uh, to point to 20 here now q is equal to sorting points next yes as the sorting pointer is pointer is in this linked list q will point to the next pointer of sorting and again we will go to the next iteration of this while loop and again p and q will be compared at the end when q reaches null at first then as you must remember in our last example when means this was the same example there when q reached null p was pointing here so and at that case see here this is the condition if q equal to equal to null before that there is a condition if p equal to equal to null but that is not the case here so if q equal to equal to null sorting points next equal to p so if sorting is pointing here then the next will point to p and the linked list will continue so and at the end we will return the new head pointer of the answer the new head is this 10 so this is how this code works and you can find out the whole code on my github link that is github.com slash vivekananda that is my name vivekanand44 you can find out the whole code on this link and you can use that code for your work hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.